the commission on appointments has given the green light to the ad interim appointment of AFP Chief of Staff Gilbert Gapay today, but that is not without senators grilling the general first on his interpretation of the controversial anti-terror law. Menos Banos with the story. During the hearing of the Commission on Appointments this morning, Senators repeatedly asked AFP Chief of Staff General Gilbert Gapay if they have the same interpretation on the implementation of the anti-terror law. Senator Franklin Dillon asked General Gapay what he meant with his earlier statement on the regulation of social media use as part of the law's implementing rules and regulations. Dillon clarified that the anti-terror law has no intention of curtailing the public's freedom of expression nor putting any prior restraint. Though Drillon explained that under the newly enacted law, those who will use social media for terrorist acts will be punished post facto or after the fact by filing charges against those who will be found guilty. But the senator insists this does not mean that the law empowers the government to suppress the right of the people to express. Gapai clarified that what they want to regulate are not the users but the service providers. He explained that they are already in touch with Facebook to help them with their fight against terrorism. Gapai says that based on intelligence reports, terrorists use social media to promote and recruit members and also to solicit logistical and material support. The goal of this regulation will be to make social media platforms the service providers more liable for the contents they host this includes their responsibility to enforce the traceability of content or importantly to enable accountability gapai also assured the ca that the afp has no intention of curtailing press freedom but senators aren't comfortable with the idea of regulating the social media platform either, saying this would lead to limiting the access of the public to the social media, which could also be considered as prior restraint. What should be punished as contemplated in the law in the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020 is the conduct and the actual act without reference to prior restraint. Is that your understanding? So, ang ipaparusahan lang natin yung actual act of yes. facilitating, recruiting, di ba? But not yung prior. We cannot regulate social media. But I confirm that, that uh, we do not intend to really curtail uh, freedom of expression as guaranteed uh, by our constitution. And of course, we don't want to impose any uh, uh, or curtail that, uh, or impose uh, prior restraint to anybody. And uh, what we're suggesting are the acts themselves should be uh, regulated pertaining to uh, really in combating terrorism. Gapay meanwhile clarified that they are mere implementers of the law and they will adhere to it to the letter. They have no power to expand the application of the law, but they will only give suggestions based on their monitoring of actual imminent dangers. In the same confirmation hearing, senators also asked Gapay of his position on the calls for a revolutionary government, to which Gapay directly answered that the AFP is not supporting any calls for RevGov, as this is unconstitutional and politically motivated. Gapay also assured the Senate that no member of AFP will participate in any move to push RevGov. In the end, the Commission on Appointments approved the nomination of Gapay for the rank of General. Reporting for News 5, Mea and Los Baños, we are One News.